So I just noticed that the CTC 3D printer kits are down to $75 a piece and there's still $33 shipping but you're just a little bit over a hundred bucks for all the parts to build a printer. Granted not a good printer but a printer. But I decided to try to uh, take one of the kits and bash it into a, a linear rail type which is kind of what we got configured here replace the uh, the rods and the bearings and all of that with linear rails basically I found these in a dumpster they're metal ball bearing uh, rails originally used to uh, move equipment in racks like in a recording studio so I took three of them and I welded that end square to there and then welded that in square to there so everything was completely square and then bolted the backs of those slides to the wood and for this one I just simply cable tied the uh, the rail to the rods it was real dirt uh, dirty and quick it was just to have some fun when it came to attaching uh, X motors and everything. I made some metal brackets and just spot welded them, tack welded them right in place just to hold everything together quick and dirty. Um, I don't know, just wanted to have some fun. Anyway, it should be cranking up here, but for any that are going to build the kit, stock or otherwise, you know, the most important thing you can do is to get an old scrap piece of wood like I did and in the end actually glue or screw the frame to it. In this case I just put a little, there's high points in the little glue on the high points so when it sat down it solidified and this middle piece actually they have a high point on one end but not on any other end so actually you need to cut a little piece of filler if you care about that and glued that down and of course if you're running it with the rod ones the best solution I talked about in my other video was to get four nuts, 10 millimeter nuts, and put a nut on each side of the wood and tighten those down. In this case I wanted to try something different this time when I build it, so I just cut some old pipe that I had laying around, plastic pipe sleeves, front and back. So when everything is pulled together, that pinches against the board. You really need that board solidified to get rid of the wobble, to make everything stiff. This one's rigid now, because of the being glued there and there. Another interesting thing I found out when I was working on it is, you know, I talked about the the plastic bearings they're using for the belts. It's actually the same bearing that they press on the motor shaft. They're all all four the same. Well they're they're out of round. <clears throat> so even if you get a carriage set up where everything's moving really smooth and free, you'll feel that it kind of goes free or tighter, free or tighter, jerk 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 jerk. And if you look really closely as it's moving you'll actually see that the the wheel isn't centered perfectly to the shaft kind of out around. They're a cast part so it's hard to believe that a, an injection molded part would be out around, but they are. Oh, looks like it's getting ready to home. I asked it to print something new. Um, we'll see how it goes. Home decks, did home to I. Added, uh, had to add different adjustments for my stops. Uh, cable management is always important on these types of projects bolting and tying things on this fan like as I talked about before is just held on with clips so I can put it on or remove it it's uh, actually will be the noisiest part of the, the printer when it starts up is that little fan blowing mount that board vertically so you can get into the card things much easier mount your bed wire up drill a hole with a cable tie so it doesn't hang up I find on the power supply that it's easier to actually flip it over so the connections are down that way the the power supply lead they give you will reach underneath and get to the board also keeps the terminals out of way so no one can get shocked Let's see if it's priming the pump or if it's no it's starting to starting to emit filament now I just took, um, I grabbed a file off Thingiverse and then I just shoved it 
into Cura and simply told Cura to select a PERSA i3 type file. So I just, whatever the presets were there, I haven't done any fine tuning or, or anything like that. It was just, just to see whether the whole thing would even work or not. And so far it is. And the noisy little fan should, uh, should turn on, you know, after the first layer is done or thereabouts. He said point, uh, point three tricks so maybe two layers, whatever. I don't know if we'll let it go that long. It doesn't matter. You already know how it, how it prints. Um, let's see. What I was hoping to get rid of by going with the linear rails. Actually, I just wanted to do it just because, just to have fun. I mean, it's the cheapest way to have fun, I can think of. You get all the parts you need to make a real, real bad thing. <laughs> but uh, you can remember before when it printed, it had what I would call is Z banding or Z wobble on everything. I mean the print's not bad other than that. Had a excellent first layer. So this time I actually had it print a little bit. I didn't need another owl. So I just had it print some of the owl and then I stopped the print. But the main thing I wanted to look at was back here on the banding. And it does seem to be either less or gone. Again, this was a pre-sliced file that comes on a CD that they sent you. They don't give you a memory sticker card. They actually burn you a CD. So I have no idea what layer height, except it printed really fast. So I'm, it had to have probably been a 0 0.2 layer height, or maybe taller, I don't know. But it, uh, that part of it looked a little, a little better. The, uh, it does do the moons, as you can tell. I mean, granted, I have to shrink the moon file down. It's really small, but it did it. And I believe this was a uh, sliced at point two. And again, no fine tuning. It was just the cura settings. I kind of just wanted to see if things would look any better or any different. It might be a little bit better, but I couldn't tell on the moon. So I wanted to grab something with some smooth surfaces so the first thing I thought the, the kids might like, that way I can give them whatever it produces, is, was a dragon. And this dragon's on a little stand, so it's doing a, an oval stand first, and then uh, it'll do the dragon. So I guess what I can do is um, take a picture of the dragon, or at least part of how it's doing in the print maybe use that as the frame grab at the beginning I don't know I kind of want to get this video up because this price is only good for two more days I mean I just noticed that it dropped down to $75 for the entire kit of parts and if I wait for these prints to finish the sale will be over for you guys see the video so you won't think to check you just need to remember to go up and check these prices even the links for anything you've looked at before punch them in every day if there's some something you're interested in they, they just go on flash sale for who knows what reason. I don't know. I mean, it's it's how I picked up the, the Fulson so cheap. And it's how I picked up my little monster for 600 and whatever it was, $90 or whatever it was. Some really low price for a fantastic printer. So just kind of keep poking in and see how the sites are doing. This one's on the AliExpress. And it's the CTC. And they call it an, an A8 type printer but um, you just put in the CTC ones and it'll probably come up and it's their obviously their cheapest kit of parts um, heat bed comes with a glass plate I just stuck a, a build tack type sticker on there because I don't like tape and I knew I was gonna be doing multiple prints and before I had uh, my anti cubic good plate on there but that's on this that's on this puppy now on the flash forward finder which has been upgraded to the larger build and a heated bed so anyway uh, just a quick video showing you what you can kit bash and do maybe I ought to try to uh, get another one of these kits and maybe turn it into a, a robot arm type one like the drawing and printing type machines again 
I'm not trying to build a, a great printer with great quality, just just having some fun, taking dumpster parts. I didn't add any more money. This fan is a Radio Shack fan from the 1980s. Still runs better and quieter than the ones that you can buy now. And it's just uh, held on to the power supply to keep it cool. Um, I can't think of anything else I wanted to cover. I think we've hit most of it. It's just uh, just seems like a lot of parts for the money and a, a cheap way to have fun and learn. And if you do something wrong, you don't really cry over it because you didn't really spend anything to begin with. All right, talk to you later.